Last week I was so fortunate to attend the opening of Green Hills and it's huge for Maitland. You know, it really cements us as a regional city. But what I do think has gone under the radar is this connectivity centre. It is a bittersweet moment today as we draw to a close of the connectivity centre. When we commenced this project, we had a target in mind of hopefully assisting 100 people gain employment as a result of the opportunities provided through the redevelopment at the Green Hills Redevelopment. I'm thrilled to say that as of five o'clock on Friday last, over 180 people have actively entered into the workforce. And might I say that number is still growing as we are waiting confirmations on candidates that were interviewed only last week. Connectivity Centre in its simple form was a hub for collaboration between the agencies involved in finding people employment. Perhaps in a less simple form, it was a venue for the community to come together to identify solutions that they, the community, saw as being important. And frankly, we feel privileged to have had the opportunity to make a contribution to the Maitland community. But I'd like to acknowledge our partner in this important project, Multiplex. This was a partnership not just to build a fabulous shopping centre for the community, but to create real opportunities for the community to actually help us build a fabulous shopping centre. The connectivity centre was not just about helping people connect with employers and placing people into jobs in the short term. It was about helping people develop skills for the long term. And through this initiative, we wanted to ensure that we were helping people in the Maitland region become job ready for years to come. In our monthly progress meetings with Dave and Joe, I was always keen to hear about the progress of the activity in the centre and the number of people finding employment. I was inspired by the commitment of the people who wanted to help others be their best and to find work. I truly valued that experience over the past two years and has given me a terrific insight into how Stockland may find opportunities in the future to establish connectivity centres on our major projects going forward. The connectivity centre in Maitland has been a great initiative. It's, it's been really embraced by by the local community um, and by our subcontractors and I think also for our project team, they have benefited from the project because it gives them another aspect to the job where they can see a benefit, they feel a part of it. So it's something really big that's happened here and it's a massive social change as well. I think everyone has a right to the dignity and the pride and the autonomy that comes from having employment. It's one thing to get someone a job it's another thing to prepare someone for a job and give them the skill set that they need to even participate in the workforce. It's another thing to sustain employment. And I think you've covered all the bases. On behalf of Maitland and the city, I want to thank you so much and congratulate you and thank you Multiplex for what you've done. I, I do hope you come back and that you continue to do that in our city because um, we're so much richer for it. The best stories are when you see people who have limited skill wanting to get a job, that getting them in there and getting them placed with an employer, and a lot of them got skilled trades, offered apprenticeships, so it was really amazing and it was a big, I couldn't say there was one individual, one there were numerous. Started as a concept, the Connectivity Centre, in an empty building, and it's ended in a fine example of the benefits of collaboration. It's not only the results that we've just got, it's not only the, the wonderful work that the centre's done, but it's the knowledge that David and Joe have passed on to us as providers, and yes, they're leaving, but that won't. That'll stay here with us, that's grown us as a, as a service uh, and as an industry, so we thank Joe and Dave uh, very much.